What's going on, everybody? Welcome to ISO Week, where I'm doing everything in my power to get as much ISO as possible because, I mean, look at this, man. This is this is pathetic. I've had this Sasquatch at rank 3 for a couple weeks now, and he's level 16. Uh, I've got plenty of other 7-star champs that I need to rank up. i got plenty of other 6-star champs as well. And, I, I, I mean, I have uh, already either ranked these champs up or i have catalyst waiting or i have rank up gems i have gold even i just do not have the iso and it's gonna take a, a lot of work to actually solve this problem and i'm not solving it all in this video uh, i'm just taking step one to do that because where do you get iso from well you, you get iso from crystals but here's the thing about these crystals you guys you actually get a lot more ISO if it's a champion uh, that you have at, you know, max SIG. Because if I open up this three-star crystal right here, uh, I'm going to get a duplicate champion, right? Game, don't make me a liar and give me a brand new champ. Okay, I forgot Surfer. So, uh, I'm going to get 55 four-star shards from Silver Surfer here, right? And 55 uh, four-star shards... Um, if you, if you do the math on that, you need 2,000 four-star shards uh, to open up a four-star crystal. Um, 55 of those shards is about 1 in 36. Actually, it's 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 like 1 in 36.36. You need to open up 36.36 crystals. Uh, I think that's what the math works out to uh, in order to get a four-star. But if we then go ahead and open up that max sig crystal, here's where it gets slightly dicey because I cannot predict the future on this one. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get shards or if I'm going to get some other reward from these crystals because it's not guaranteed to get shards, but for the most part, that is what you're getting. There we go. Uh, so now that I've gotten uh, essentially 55 shards from the initial dupe and 55 shards from the max sig crystal, it cuts the number of dupes necessary to open up another crystal in half. Takes it from uh, a little over 36 to just a hair over 18 crystals. Now, because there's other things in these max sig crystals uh, than just shards, uh, I, I don't know, maybe it's more like, you know, 21 max sig crystals uh, to, to get another crystal to open or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what the math is there, but I've opened up thousands of these crystals, and for the most part, you get shards with a sprinkling of other little goodies in there that you're kind of mad you got because really you just want the shards. Um, uh, unless it's, uh, you know, a mortal iron fist because always take that. That's just, uh, that's, that's the equivalent to opening up a crystal uh, in itself, plus getting a new champ. That's cool too. So uh, the name of the game today then is to uh, try to get as many champions up to max SIG as possible. Um, I'm not going to be opening up any crystals that actually uh, give ISO. I'm just going to try to take step one here and put on screen exactly how many champs uh, that I am taking to max SIG because this is going to help immensely in the long run. And oh boy, do I have lots of SIG stones because in addition to the hundreds, thousands of crystals that I've got sitting there uh, in the overflow, I also have tons of these expiring. I'm also going to buy more SIGs um, from the whatever stores I can I can get these SIGs from. Um, I, I want SIG stones because it is going to help solve this problem. So I'm going to get to those in uh, just a bit here. Uh, and I'm going to start it out by opening up um, you know, all of the SIG crystals that I've been sitting on for a while. Um, I, technically, I think you do also get SIGs from uh, these crystals before anyone says it. Uh, yeah, four and five uh, star signature stones and all that. These ones, I, however, I'm not going to be opening today because they also give boosts. And I'm going to kind of slowly open some of these uh, as I need them. But I'm just going to uh, be popping open, um, you know, all of the actual SIG stone crystals that contain nothing but SIG stones. Uh, and then that will allow me to feel more comfortable opening up things like the Paragon crystals that I have, the Cavalier crystals that I have, all that stuff. Um, essentially doing a... a I don't want to say the, the the key words of, you know, crystal cleanup, but uh, this may be something to that effect. Uh, so luckily with these things, you could just blast through them now. It does not take too long. And I don't necessarily care what class types I get. 
it's more just about quantity. Um, dude, these four star ones are great uh, because they're, they're plus fives. So let's go ahead and uh, crack these open real quick. Oof. All those plus five SIGs, that feels pretty good. When it comes to actually feeding the SIGs into my champions, uh, I'm going to go in order, roughly. Uh, you know, starting with uh, two stars all the way up to, to six stars. Maybe not. Man, I don't think I have that many two star six stones. But anyway, when popping open these crystals, I, I'm just going to blast through any crystal I find. I have a few strategies in mind in order to like maximize whatever SIGs I get out of these crystals. Uh, there's not that many different ways that you could feed these into your champs. But, um, you know, uh, uh, there's going to be a little bit of, uh, you know, mixed opinions on how best to utilize these SIGs that I'm sure some people will agree with and others will disagree with. But for now, let's just keep popping. Man, this would have been my dreams back in the, uh, you know, the Sigstone droughts of the past. Just going through all the tabs to make sure I got all of the crystals that can give max Sigs. Like I said, not popping those solo crystals. But I mean, look at all these Cav crystals that I have just sitting here. Um, and these are perfect because it's, it's three to six star champions. And that's exactly the, you know, the, the, the level of champs that I'm focusing on max Sigging and uh, ideally getting double value from. Um, by the way, this math for, for crystals and dupes and all that, uh, it works in most situations. Uh, they changed the formula slightly for seven star crystals giving Titan shards, but even then it's actually relatively close. I think it's one in uh, 33 instead of uh, one in 36. I think these give you know 3% of a Titan each, something like that. Um, it's been a while since I've, I've crunched those numbers, but, uh, let's move on now to actually using these SIG stones. When it comes to strategy for the lower star level champions, there's not a whole lot to talk about, but we do have a few things to go over to maximize, um, the way that you feed each one of these SIG tier champs. Uh, first off, when you go into the inventory in this view, it orders your champions from, uh, the ones that are, uh, you know, highest SIG, uh, all the way down to the champion's that are uh, of a lower SIG level, uh, which is easy then. Uh, in order to max SIG more champions, you just start from the top. Um, you know, it, it's better to max SIG fewer champs rather than spreading your uh, SIG stones out to all the champs because over time, uh, you know, just by chance, by landing on the champs that you already have max SIG, whenever you open up crystals, uh, you will you know, gain uh, more max SIG crystals. Technically, I could take a look at all of my CAV crystals and determine which champs appear the most and max SIG them that way, but that's way too much effort. The only other thing that I'm going to be doing other than uh, just, you know, starting from the top here with my, with my lower champs at least, because it's going to change when we get the higher ones, is I do want to make sure that each one of my champions here is on a multiple of eight away from the max sig and that's because when opening up three star crystals you get eight sig stones or sorry eight sig levels um from that dupe so uh air walker here he's at sig 59 for a reason he is exactly 40 sigs away from max sig level and that means whenever i open up crystals if i happen to pull air walker a whole bunch uh, when i dupe him i'm not going to be wasting any sig levels it'll get cleanly to 99 and then from there, give max sig crystals. So uh, there, there's a few champs that I, you know, am going to make just very slight adjustments to. Like Icarus here, uh, you know, is 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 58. He's going to go to 59. Uh, I'm not going to feed more sigs into him. We're talking about a total of, you know, maybe 20 sigs I'm going to be feeding into all these champs uh, before just going down the line and, and taking him in max sig. So judging by my little cheat sheet here, Cersei also has to go to 59, but... Hey, not every champ is going to go to 59. Uh, Red Goblin's already at 51. That is perfect. Um, Gore is also going to need to go to 51. Uh, CGR is at 41, which uh, we need to get him to 43. Uh, then we've got Hulkling at 32. The nearest one for him is 35. Uh, maybe it's slightly... Is it, is it about 20? Was I right in that uh, estimation? Is it slightly over? Is it slightly under? I don't know. Uh, up to 19 for Gallon. Hercules. Uh, just Sig 11 is all we need for that guy. And then Adam Warlock here. Let's also take him 
211 and gladiator once again gonna go to 11 okay so now all of that is set in a in a good place um now we're just gonna start from the top here and odin you are the first max sig of uh this process buddy congrats um now with the three stars sigs i actually don't have that many and i that's all I could do uh, with these Sig Stones, at least. Uh, so I'm actually going to... Hold on a sec. I kind of forgot one crucial step here, and that's to look for any Sigs that have a higher amount to them. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. See, uh, I should have known better. I should have known that they were not organized in the inventory the way that you'd expect. And... Um, all of the like the plus fives over here and the plus twos and stuff like that so let's let's go ahead and and fix that real quick uh luckily the plus fives happen to work out great for airwalker here as well so there you go uh we got another one maxed out i should have enough sigs to uh, get cersei maxed as well let's feed this you know plus two real quick all right so 71 and i know i had enough uh of the regular three star sigs to go ahead and finish that up okay so three champs at sig 99 uh so far and now i only have six sig stones left i'm gonna hold on to these for right now but when i get to the generic sigs i might return because hey we might be able to close the gap on one of these um but because it's not a multiple of eight i'm not even gonna touch it for right now let's move on to the next class type and i'm gonna go ahead and look at mutant why mutants i don't know man the color yellow just kind of stood out so let's go ahead and start with the higher multiples real quick and um yeah with these ones i know i have enough sigs that if i get them close that's all that's necessary so let's just burn those I'm gonna do the same thing with the plus twos right here and you never want to go you never want to really waste sigs if possible so you know, I could feed two of these to get the champ to 99, but I only need three in total, and that, that would be, like, wasting one, you know? So, uh, let's feed the rest of these to Apoc, get him a little bit closer, and, oh, man, I actually do have a bunch of two-star six stones for some of these class types, I'm just now realizing. Um, you know, the two stars, they don't really give much for ISO anyway, so I think I'm going to skip over those uh for the for the sake of saving a little bit of time in this video uh all right let's get storm maxed out i'm gonna go ahead and get apoc maxed out and before i max anyone else out i'm gonna use my little cheat sheet here to make sure that we're on good multiples so 43 is already good let's get sauron to 43 as well uh strife let's go ahead and bump him up a little bit you could, if you're, if they're low enough sig level, you can kind of make the assumption that you're not going to pull a champion, you know, 10 times to, uh, waste any sig. So if you really want to, you can skip this step, but I don't know. It, it, it kind of sets things up nicely for the future. Um, as cause you could already see that. Yeah. A lot of the champs that I, uh, looked at, they were already at a good sig level. So, uh, okay. Professor X. Uh, we've taken him to 99, so that is done as well. Okay, let's move on to the next class type. And it's a little bit tedious going through this, but, you know, like I said, man, um, I, I desperately need the ISO. And if this is going to cut the number of crystals I need in half uh, to open up more crystals, um, it, it adds up uh, to be a lot of ISO in the long run. So... Oh man, 98. And now that you've got a little bit of the process down of what I'm doing, I'm going to kind of, you know, speed this up a little bit, at least on your guys' end, um, where I'm just going to show when I actually get the champs to 99. Oh man, 99. Black Widow deodorant, 99. Misty to 98. Oh, come on. Okay, in a situation like this, that was my last six, though, and I got the rest of them sorted out. <laughs> um... We could just, you know, break away into the, uh, whoops, into the generics real quick. And I'm looking at the wrong generics. Here we go. Three star. Okay. Misty, 99. Let's go back to the class types here. So back to uh, science now. Mr. Fantastic, 99. Hulk, 99. 
Red Guardian 99. And I don't have enough to get another science to 99, so what I will do is just go ahead and take the pig up to a uh, multiple of 8 away. Next class. Tech is the class I have the fewest number of SIGs for. Um, really don't have much here. I'm not even sure. I mean, I, I, I'm going to go through my normal process and get these other champs uh, to their multiples of, of 8 away, but... Uh, I might not even have enough to max sig anyone afterwards. And it looks like I don't. So, okay. That's, you know, that's all right. We'll take Nimrod here to sig 83. Let's move on. I also don't have that many sigs for the Mystic class type uh, as well. Hmm. You know, I think this is the one time that I'm going to break from my, uh, you know, philosophy of, of getting all these champs to a multiple of 8 away from max just because... Uh, I'm really short on the number of SIGs, so uh, what I'll do is we'll get Tigra maxed out, and then Chavez is also close. Uh, we'll get Mac her maxed out as well. And then I have just enough to get Sassy to a multiple of 8, and he's the closest uh, anyway, so. Um, oh, look at that, we can even get Purgatory with the final SIG. Okay, good enough. Now it's time to move into the generics for 3 stars, and, you know, with the generics... You could kind of look to whatever class type that you're like furthest from fully maxing out and try to pump uh, the generics into that class. But because I'm so far away from fully max sigging, um, you know, entire classes as a whole here, uh, I'm not going to stress that. And I'm just going to once again go from the top and um, see who is closest and invest six into those champs. So. That's going to be Spider-Ham and Nimrod. And then moving on to the regular three stars here. Uh, I've got a good number of these. So there we go. Spidey-Ham, you made it to 99, pal. Nimrod, so did you. Ooh, I kind of forgot one crucial step, though. If I am going to be using generics to, to kind of bridge the gap, then I should go back and see if, you know, I can utilize these last couple of SIGs. Like, I should have tossed these two into Spider-Ham, but... Now that, uh, you know, I-Hulk is the next one closest, he's too far away. So these SIGs are going to be held on to. What about Mutant? Is anyone close here? No, not really. Uh, what about Tech? These should have went to Nimrod, but now it's too late. Cosmic. Got anything here? Icarus. Yeah, he's a little bit far away, but um, I don't know. Maybe we'll go that route. And yeah, actually, I, I am going to go that route because the Cosmic class is, is the, you know, largest class type in the game anyway. So kind of makes sense, uh, to get these champs, you know, sigged up as much as possible anyway. So, uh, uh by the way, I'm skipping Immortal Iron Fist. Maybe I should toss two sigs into this guy. Does he give a max sig crystal? I actually can't recall if you do get max sig crystals out of uh, immortal Iron Fist or not. It might be a special case with him, so I'm just going to skip him entirely and going to move on to uh, Icarus here. Um, okay, that's good enough for right now. I've got 23 SIGs left. I could go back and adjust some of the ones that weren't quite multiples of 8 with these, but I'm actually uh, I'm just satisfied with where I'm at here. Let's move on to 4 stars now. And all those plus 5s are really going to come in handy. Wow, look at this. Yeah. You know, I might have some champs that need Awakening, uh, and I'll worry about that later if, if after I get these champs max sigged. By the way, uh, once we get to four stars now, four stars and up, um, all dupes give 26 instead of eight. So now we just have to adjust our little formula and basically say, you know, 99, uh, 79, and so on, just 26 away from max. Um, if you're not able to fully max them out. Uh, but it looks like for the Mystic class, at least, I should be good here. Rintra maxed, and Wiccan is maxed too. Uh, just out of curiosity, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and see if there's any champs that I do need to awaken uh, for four-star Mystics. And yeah, there are a few. These champs are so far away from, you know... Uh, sig 99 though that i'm, I'm not going to worry about them i could technically feed these gems in because it'll count as a sig stone uh it, you know it'll save one later but you know there, there comes a point where it's like okay that's that's a little too crazy if, if i'm doing that um maybe if they're you know going to expire but if they're not expiring then i'll just hold on to it who cares might need 
those four star awakening gems for a future Karina's challenge or something uh, to that effect. So uh, it's not really a big benefit. Um, something that's going to help me right now. Let's move on to the next class type, science. Dude, I have so many of these science six stones. I feel like I could max probably all of these champs. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, you know, definitely not. <laughs> the more I look at this, uh, yeah, I, I've got a lot of sigs, but it's not that many. Uh, I'll go ahead and get uh, Quicksilver at 99, though. The other thing about four stars is, you know, with the three stars, you're always so close to like hitting that multiple of eight away. Uh, when it comes to four stars, not so much. I'd have to feed 19 sigs uh, into each one of these champs uh, to get them on that sweet spot, which is not always worth it. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and max out Photon here. Um, but in this case, because I cannot get any other champ uh, to 99, maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, but I'm also going to um, see what happens with the generic. So I'll sit on that for right now and just keep you know going down the line with some of the other classes here all right valkyrie 99 moon dragon also 99 misty 99 and mantis oh we're just short but i am gonna go ahead and bridge the gap here with some generics so uh mantis we'll see you in a sec here we go mantis 99 so that was all of my skills but if i look at the awakening gem here oh wow it's actually just a tuma um, for right now, but not going to do that. Next class. Let's go with Mutant. And wow, this is it for Mutant too? Holy moly. Okay. Well, this will be pretty easy. I'm going to go with the individual ones in this case. Just because I, I don't want them to hit the overflow later. But there's Captain Britain maxed out. You know, I have so many of these SIGs that in this case, it might actually be worth, you know, popping an Awakening Gem. Uh, who do I have available? Oh, oh boy. Now, I'm not going to be getting a Max Sig Crystal out of Red Pool here, uh, especially as a free-to-play player when it was only made available in one specific special circumstance. Um, you know what? I, I'm going to hold on to these Sigs, though, because I, I, I kind of want to max him out later. Sometimes you don't always do the most efficient play. Sometimes you uh, you got to follow your heart. And Red Pool, yeah, that's a special case. Let's move on to Tech, which I've got a lot of these Tech SIGs as well. I Doom 99, Captain Falcon 99, and man, I'm going to be pretty close on these Tech ones. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Keep Lady Deathstrike at 79 for right now. On to Cosmic, which I don't have that many of. Uh, Thanos, once again, a, a very special situation here where, um, you know, he's a trophy champ. It's not like I'm going to be getting a Max Sig Crystal out of this guy anytime soon. Uh, how many... Oh man, I have quite a few of the Cosmics. This, this is another situation where, I don't know, maybe it is worth using an Awakening Gem. But for now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to partially feed the plus fives. And I'm actually going to finish this up with the individuals just to make sure that these never go into the overflow. Um, okay, so there we go. Gladiator 99. That's all of the individual class types, but look at how many generics I have. And look how few four stars I actually need um, to feed these two. It's really not that many i feel like i could max out all of these uh, maybe even including the trophy champs so yeah i think i am potentially going to maybe use should, man should i use some awakening gems let me see how many champs in total i need to awaken look at the generic four star here that's a few it's definitely a few some of these are trophy champs but not all of them are let me do this let me actually awaken one of my mystics here i'll go with i don't know let's go with the wolf holy crap i just realized i also have these plus 99 sig stones here okay well you know what let's um huh that's interesting <laughs> should i man I i'm so tempted just to feed one of these into red pool uh but right now let's let's give one of these to the wolf Ow! Because I have so many cosmic leftovers, I think I'm also going to use an awakening gem on the one cosmic champ that's left out for now, which is Vox. 
And uh, I'll go ahead and feed all of these into Vox, which I was just short by exactly five, which makes this nice and convenient to do. Let's get this plus five into Vox. There we go, buddy. You're now maxed out. And you know what? Screw it, man. I, I mean, I, I want a max sig um, red pool here, but desperate times call for desperate measures, dude. Uh, I've got to go with the champs that are going to be giving me ISO. Uh, let, let's just go ahead and get Sauron maxed out as well. Three shy when dumping all of my mutant stones in. So I'll fix that real quick with some of these generics. And there we go, Sauron maxed. And because I know I have all of these generics at my disposal, yeah, I might as well go ahead and uh, just dump all of these science stones. I'm actually going to go with Spot just because, hey, he kind of needs the awakened uh, ability compared to these other ones. Uh, I doubt I'll use them, but who knows, man, maybe a future Karina's or something. There we go, Spot 99. Let's use that other Max Sig crystal and... Uh, we'll, we'll give it to Omega Sentinel here just because I've got a couple of tech champs floating around and not very many tech sig stones. So the plus 99, uh, Omega Sentinel, there you go, girl. Okay, I don't think awakening any more champs is going to be worth it. I don't think I'll be able to get them max sig. So let's just go ahead and finish up the rest of these non-trophy champs, uh, getting these champions maxed out. And I want to make sure I can utilize all of my my plus one sigs, or at least most of them. So, yeah, I've got 90 of those in total. Here's what I'll do. Let's go ahead and get Titania first to, uh, let's say, 675. And I'll do the exact same thing with Cassie here, 75. And the rest, I will use the plus ones on. Okay, Cassie 99 and Titania also 99. There we go. Yeah, see, now I only have 25 sigs here plus the uh, 42 sigs here. So that is less than 99. We are going to move on to the five star champions now. But that felt good, man. That's a lot of uh, four stars maxed out. So let's get into the five stars now. And uh, this is going to feel pretty good, too, because I do have a lot of SIGs, although they do go all the way up to SIG 200 at this point. So I don't expect to get nearly as many five stars maxed out. But let's let's get started here with the uh, the Mystics. The one nice thing about getting into five and six stars now is that they're all going to be good to go right out the gate unless I used an Awakening Gem because... Now that it's not at a like sig 199 that it caps out at, since it caps out at 200, it's already set up perfectly uh, for all you know future dupes. So let's just run down the line here, and we'll start top to bottom, maxing out as many champs as I possibly can. We got one with Mojo here. The one piece of advice I would give when it comes to five stars, though, is that. Hey, there are some champs that are technically still not available in any higher star level. So if you haven't max sigged magic, well, now might be the time. Um, there's also maybe a world in which you'd want to save some sigs uh, for future Karina's challenges and stuff like that. Because, hey, look at the last one that just came out a few weeks ago. It, it, it's Stark Spidey that is being used. A five-star Stark Spidey, right? So... Um, but the, you know, I am going to show something in just a moment here that is going to make it so that I personally do not want to hold on to any SIGs as we get another one to 200 here with Jane Foster. Once the game realizes that, holy crap, he's actually spending resources, uh, and, and doesn't flag me for a, um, potential hack, uh, attempt here, like my account's compromised. Uh, we'll go with, uh, Loki maxed out next as well, and that might be it. Is, yeah, 59 SIGs left and do not have enough for Maestro uh, or, or Mephisto. So with this, by the way, it's probably a good idea to get the whatever champ you can closest to, uh, you know, SIG 200 with a good multiple at least. So in this case, like Mephisto to 140, just in case I pulled them a few more times. But... If you're, as, if you're as far away as I am, where it's like, okay, I need to dupe this guy, you know, a, a bunch more to get him to SIG 200, I can also just hold on to these SIGs and then kind of monitor my openings going forward. 
and come back to these SIGs later to, you know, max SIG someone else. So uh, I'm not going to be getting them uh, as close as humanly possible when it comes to the five stars. But here's the other thing uh, that I was talking about as to why I'm not going to be holding on to these SIGs um, as if my life depended on it. I'm actually going to be using uh, the Battleground store here to buy more five-star SIG stones because they're so cheap. Look at this, man. 500 trophy tokens for 50 generic SIGs. Um, this could be used for future challenges, but I'm actually just going to buy these right now um, just to help max out maybe one additional champ, but I'm going to buy that every single week because it's it's not like this ISO problem is going to go away overnight. Um, I'm hoping to, uh, you know, rectify the situation as much as possible right now, but I imagine uh, next week and the week after and the month after, I'm going to need ISO there too. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up every week because of how cheap it is. Um, but let's let's get back to the SIGs that I have. Go with Science next. And Hulk is now SIG 200. We can get his Gladiator counterpart maxed out as well. Congrats, Gulk. The nicknames that we have for some of these champs, man. Uh, Sentry, the power of a thousand suns, now has the power of 206 stones as well. And I'm just shy for Modoc here. But I'm so close that I think I am going to feed a few generics to get this guy maxed out. There we go, Mojo. Or did I say Mojo before? There we go, Modoc. That's what I meant to say. Whoops. Let's move on to the tech class, starting with Vulture. All right, Vulture Sig 200. Wait, hang on. Speaking of that challenge with Stark Spidey. Uh, yeah, okay. I already had him at Sig 200. Uh, at this point, I mean, it's a good idea just to to kind of maybe pick out your favorites if you're if they're so far away from max sig anyway but sig 120 that's close enough that yeah i'm just going to continue on with red skull here there we go sig 200 red skull iron man congrats you're next and i'm pretty much out of sigs so next class storm sig 200 i'm getting more five stars than i thought i would but you know it's still it's still tough to max these guys out, but uh, hey man, it's a start. I'm going to skip over Sabretooth and uh, in honor of Frojo, max out Rogue here. There we go, Rogue. Sig 200, girl. All right, there we go. Next class. Ooh, Hyperion, the champ that definitely does not need Sig 200, but is getting Sig 200. Drax, a champ that might as well have been forgotten about in this game. I'm so sorry, Drax, but at least you're Sig 200 now, bud and oh man okay i'm very close to sig 200 uh with the sigs i have left for one of these and uh you know we got to give it to the duck dude there let's go venom the duck i'll feed you some generics to give you the rest there we go venom the duck the god of gods himself now sig 200 next class let's go to skill karnak my old friend you're now sig 200 as well i wish you were uh as good as you are today as you were back then, I would have actually played you. Winter Soldier, also SIG 200. And I'm going to be a little bit short here for Crossbones. That's close enough, though, that, yeah, let's go ahead and, and, and finish this up for Crossbones here. There we go, bud. SIG 200 Crossbones. SIG ability actually pretty good. Okay, is that all of the regular class types here without going into all of my generics? I think it is. There's some classes that I do have a lot of SIGs left, though, like Mystic here having 59. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and put these to use. Um, Mephisto. Here we go. 159. I'll get the rest of the generics for you, pal. I'm going to start breaking into the plus 5 generics that I have, too. And get them to Sig 199. I'll slap them a uh, plus 1. I'm a Fisto. Took, took some effort, but we got there, bud. I had a bunch more of the tech class, too. So, looks like uh, Yondu. Today's your lucky day, pal. Let's get you maxed out. All right. Yondu Sig 200. What else we got, man? I'm so far away from mutants. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Let's look at the generics and see who's closest. Oh, it looks like it is Sabretooth anyway. Okay. All right. Fine. I'm sold. Uh, Sabretooth, I'm sorry that I skipped over you earlier, bud. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get you to Sig 200, too. All right, Sabretooth, Sig 200. Do I have any of the class types left for the five stars? No, man, it doesn't really look like it. So just generics, and I've got 145 here. And, you know, I've got... 20 here so that should be enough let's see i think i can get two more maxed out if i just go with uh, the champs in the top row here so let's go with mr fantastic am i gonna make it uh, let's see mr fantastic sig 200 and then what does that leave me is that enough for ant-man yeah just barely okay cool that's what i thought all right ant-man also sig 200 the final sig 200 for right now so that was great, man. That was actually more max, um, you know, SIG champs than I, I, I thought I could get. Uh, there's still a lot more that I need to, you know, work on over the, the coming weeks and months and stuff like that. And the more I can get maxed out, yeah, the more ice I'm going to get in total. But it's a start, man. It's a start. And it's going to get me hopefully enough ISO to at least revamp my Battlegrounds deck. Uh, allow me to hit the gladiator circuit with a, a little bit more ease maybe have enough iso to you know do a challenge or two or something like that um and just over time it's going to get better and better okay we're on to the six stars now though and with the six stars my strategy changes a good bit here because you see six stars are still very relevant champions and I do not want to just say, oh, okay, yeah, I've got some Mystic Sigs here. Who's closest? Oh, let me get them to Sig 200. No. No, six-star Sigs are, you know, like I'm still using six-star champions every single day. So I, I want to give, you know, champion Sigs that uh, I'll actually see some value from. I'll, I'll get benefit from it more than just ISO. And uh, it's a little bit tough to figure out where to begin with something like this because who am I using the most right now? Um, who am I going to be using the most? It's hard to say. I think when it comes to skill, though, what I want to do is I want to start with champs that I know I'm going to be using for uh, challenges going forward. Like um, Black Widow here, I'm going to be using for the... Uh, the Avengers challenge, so I should probably go with her, but am I going to do that challenge before I do uh, the one with Jabari, and does Jabari even need Max Sig? What about Hawkeye? Yeah, I don't know. And then what if I pull Jabari as a 7 star? I'm going to be kind of kicking myself if I just invested in her rather than a different champion, but I, I think that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go with Jabari because she is a little bit closer to that Max Sig level. And, I mean, should I do this? Oh, man. No, I take it back. I, I, I am going to go with Black Widow here. She definitely needs the Sig. And I have enough that I can, you know, max her out. It's maybe slightly less efficient if I'm just purely looking for the highest number of max Sig champions as possible. But, like I said, that's not the only goal here. So, let's go ahead and use all of the, um, you know, skill Sigs that I have. Uh, and then we'll bridge the rest of that gap with some of the generics. And there we go, Black Widow, Sig 200. Let's move to a different class type now, and let's go to tech. Just had to double check which champions were even, you know, being used for this challenge here. And one of them is Iron Man, so... Okay, let's, you know, let's, let's go ahead and... Um, pump those sigs into iron man i think ah oh, but he's so far away from sig 200 and then i look at my little buddy here who's so close to sig 200 and uh i mean i gotta start here dude um rocket sig 200 there you go pal it's about time little buddy uh the rest of the champs that i'd be sigging up they're also extremely far away from sig 200 so it it makes sense to go with iron man actually this iron man isn't it dude there's there's too many iron dudes in this game right now um but okay anyway let's man since i'm not even gonna be able to get them to sig 200 let me just not uh, i'll save these 66 six stones let's let's just move on man we go back to mystic which is what i kind of started with but moved away from and when it comes to mystic welp we've got the answer right here in Tigra. Uh, I will not be able to get the champ all the way 
uh, to SIG 200, not even close. So this is kind of irrelevant in terms of, you know, um, max SIG crystals or something, but maybe with generics, uh, I'll, I'll go the rest of the way. As a matter of fact, here's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, let's go ahead and use every last drop that I have of the Mystic SIGs. Uh, and then I will at least get Tigra up uh, to SIG 120. So we'll, we'll do that, and maybe she'll go SIG 200. Let's move on to the next class, though, for right now. Let's go to Science on this one. Science is interesting because there are a few champs that, you know, they're pretty convenient uh, when you have them at SIG 200. Um, I mean, I could go with, with someone like Ant-Man, who's, you know, part of that challenge, but... Uh, would I rather do that or get Thing to SIG 200 so that, you know, I could potentially use him to cheese incursions uh, going forward? Or do I want to get, you know, Cap Beardo at SIG 200 so that I could take full advantage of his Awaken ability should I need it, even though he's not a champ in my typical rotation right now? So uh, I'm not going to go Ant-Man. And I think, yeah, I think I am going to go with Thing on this one just because... There are times where it really makes sense to use thing in that way. And um, I have enough SIGs to do it. So thing, let's get you up there, bud. And just enough to take him to SIG 200. And I think with the rest of them, with the rest of them, yeah. You know, Beardo 660, Ant-Man 660. Uh, I don't even know that I need Ant-Man SIGed up. But I'm going to go ahead and sig him up anyway. So 669. I'll use some generics at least for right now to get him to sig 80. And then from there, uh, who knows the next time I actually invest sigs into this guy. It's probably not going to be right now, I'll tell you that. Next class, we're going to go with Mutant on this one. And Mutant is another special case where there's some champs that... Uh, I really do want at a very high SIG level, and I'm not seeing the champ that I have in mind in here even, which means, hmm, do I need to use an Awakening Gem? I think I might need to do just that. Uh, luckily, this game gives out six-star Awakening Gems on occasion, and uh, let's, let's go ahead and feed one into my dear friend, Iceman. I mean... I also give it to like plat pool or the red pool that I got, but no. I'm gonna go ahead and feed this to Iceman. Wait, 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 wait. Should I feed it to Iceman or Oh man, there's also Where is she? Where is she? Kitty. Oh, do I do I give it to Kitty actually? Is there anyone else? It's it's those two. Man, you know, Kitty is so damn strong, and I never really got a chance to play her just because, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I pulled her so late, and by that point, I was already, you know, ranking up seven stars or just playing other six stars. So, what do I do? Iceman is more likely to return as a seven star. His awakening ability is also kind of important. Kitty is a very unique champion in what she can accomplish. Oh man, this is this is a tough one. There's no doubt in my mind that Kitty is the stronger of the two champs. Uh, what I want to do real quick is just kind of check the tags to see if maybe she'll be used in a future Winter of Woe challenge or something. Uh, she doesn't have that many tags for uh, regular content. A lot of his like Alliance War tags and stuff. Um, hero, X-Men, Offensive Burst. Yeah, I mean, there's a chance she'd be used. Dang, what about Iceman? Offensive Damage Over Time, Hero, X-Men. I mean, they basically have very similar tags. You know what? I mean, this is a situation where I probably should not use these resources because what are the odds that I even get a max sig? But at the same time, I, I mean, I, I think I'm still going to pull the trigger on one of them because I have so many mutant sigs and I don't want to just feed them into random champs. I, I want to take advantage of these things. So uh, screw it, man. I I'm going to go with, with Kitty and just play the pure power game here and say that uh, there might come a time where I really need an awaken sigged up Kitty. And um, 
Let's do that, man. Let's go ahead and do that. Can't even remember exactly how our Awaken ability scales. I just know our Awaken ability is very strong. And uh, I'll be kicking myself a little bit if the comments is, are like, oh, actually, you just need her at SIG 20. I'll be like, oh, okay. Whoops. <laughs> but no, let's, let's get her fully maxed out. We'll use generics for the rest of the way. And there we go. Kitty, never really even played you. But now you're sick 200, so maybe there'll be a reason to. Okay, let's move on to the next class type, though, which is going to be Cosmic. All right, Cosmic. Hmm, who do I sig up here, man? Oh, well, look who I found. It's Ronin. <laughs> Should I should I sig up Ronin? Uh, seems like that would be pretty important for some challenges going forward. And yeah, there's there's not even any thought in my mind here. Ronin needs the sigs. Uh, I'm not gonna max sig him because he's so far away. But what I'll do is I'll I'll at least get him to uh, sig 100, and from there. We'll see what I do. Here we go. Ronin, SIG 100 at least. Okay, next. I hope you guys are proud of my non-hoarding ways right now. I'm using so many resources. I think that's all of the class types except for tech, which now let's maybe circle back to tech and see what I want to do here. Man, I still don't really know that I need to use these things on anyone at the moment. Uh, <laughs> maybe I, I don't know. Do I feed them into the duck just to boost his, his PI? No, actually, that's the worst move I can make. I want to keep him as hidden as possible. Get him banned, uh, less in battlegrounds. So I'm going to hold on to the tech ones for right now. Let's, let's look at the generics. Actually, before I even look at the generics, let's look at the, ge the generic awakenings and see if there's anything else I wanted to do here. Um, Mojo is interesting because... If I don't dupe my seven star mojo, then the six star one is actually gonna be more powerful uh, for getting through the Karinas, and that seems like it's gonna be a tough one. Uh, there's Kate in there as well. There's Scorpion. Oh man, this is what I'm talking about with the, the six stars. There's so many that like, I, you don't really just wanna max sig any random champ. There's so many champs in here that I would love to max sig. Ooh, Hyperion. I don't want to max sig him, but if I don't pull him as a seven star soon, I want to just rank up the six star, honestly. Uh okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off for right now on I think all of these. Man, Kushal, I should maybe be getting, you know, her up and ready or something. But I'm gonna hold off on on awakening for right now let's let's just see what i could do with the generic uh six there is one reason why i don't really feel like holding on to these things and like again like my life depends on it and that's because once again from the battleground store here uh, i am also investing in the six star six stones these things in my opinion are very cheap 50 of these for 5,000 uh trophy tokens that's not that much um, and yeah, it's going to lead to a lot of ISO in the future and even just raw power for some of these champs that are still going to be very playable for a long time to come. Um, uh, but because I need ISO so badly right now, maybe I do just focus on investing in the champs that, uh, that are going to benefit me ISO wise today. And cause I, I don't know that I'm ranking up any of the other ones I called out all the way from rank one to, you know, rank four or five. So let's go ahead and start with Tigra here. We'll get her ready to go for the challenge. Going to have to become a Tigra player soon enough. Already ascended, already max sig now. And uh, just have to rank her up going forward. Uh, with the rest of these generics, I've got 170. So I could basically do whatever I want with them. Man, I don't really know what I want to do with these things. You know, I forgot about Thor. He's also going to be used for the challenge. What is Thor's awaken ability? Stunning the Thunder God infuriates him and grants him fury, increasing his attack by a bunch for four and a half seconds. And when Thor stuns his opponent, he tears apart their armor, reducing it. Okay, so it increases the armor break 
um, that you put on the opponent. Interesting. Uh, maybe... Should I start investing in that? Uh, I don't know. What about when I was looking at Ant-Man? Because he's not that far away. What is Ant-Man's awakened ability? A SIG-80. And it's whenever Ant-Man glances an attack, he has a 50% chance to inflict a fatigue debuff, lowering the opponent's crit rating. Because that's a defensive thing. And then whenever Ant-Man gains a Pym Particle, he pauses the duration of any personal fatigue, poison, or power sting debuffs on the opponent for 3.5 seconds. Interesting. Oh, man. How does that scale? Because... Maybe that is important. We gotta take this to, to Aunt May, dude. It's so much more complicated when trying to figure out, you know, how to invest these resources that matter most. Okay, so it, it, it takes it up to four seconds. I'm already at three and a half seconds of a pause, but hey man, that extra half second, maybe that makes all the difference. I don't know. I'm not an Ant-Man player. I don't even know how much this comes into play. Ah, boy, oh boy. I don't even know which fights he's used for it. Okay, I, I don't think I can invest in Ant-Man. I mean, can I? <laughs> Oh, God. What about Jabari? Because, uh, you know, I'm not going to do the Avengers Challenge uh, next anyway. It's probably going to be the Tigra and Jabari one. What does her awakened ability look like? The duration of the hunt is increased by uh, some very small amount of time. Whenever Jabari Panther would gain a Huntress charge while the hunt is active, she instead gains an indefinite counter punch charge. Max charge starts at one, increases by one for every 50 sig levels obtained. Oh boy. A counter punch charge is spent to gain unstoppable for 0.75 seconds. When blocking an attack, all are lost when the hunt ends. Is that a defensive thing? By the way, I'm skipping over some choices just because like Venom here, it'd be cool to have him sig 200, but I have a seven star Venom. So you know, he's all automatically out of the running. I'm just going through class by class at this point, trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. Oh, you know what? Zemo. Okay, here's a safe option because of course this guy's needed for the challenge and seems like a pretty solid champion anyway. So, okay, here we go, man. Zemo. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and feed him the generic and Zemo, buddy. Let's let's go ahead and max you out from this screen, dude. Give you the uh, special treatment here. Oh, boy. The X Magica Six Stones. I didn't even think about these ones. Okay, well, we might as well use those. There's no reason to, to hold on to those things. So, okay, fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and feed... The plus fives first. Then I'm going to go ahead and feed the X Magica ones. Then I am finally going to end with feeding the individual generics that I have, of which I still have quite a few. And there we go. Zemo Sig 200. Now, the rest of the Sigs I have here, uh, I don't... I don't have that many. Uh, let's... Let's go back to this menu here. And so the generics, I've, I've got 121, which individually, I don't think... Oh man, actually it is enough to get a couple other ones if I really want to. Plus along with the tech stones that I have here as well, which maybe I should just pump these into Iron Man. How much does his sig matter? I'm not sure. I'm, I don't care right now. Someone in the comments, please let me know. You know what, man? Give it to my dear old friend, Ronan. That way, he'll be ready to go for whenever the next challenge calls his name. All right, that is a very fitting way to uh, decide my, my final level up here, or final sig up. I don't know, max sigging of a champ. Whew, man, that was actually a lot of effort. I don't know how long this video will be all edited down, but that was an hour and 45 minutes of me sitting here opening up crystals, sorting out my roster, sigging up as many champs as possible, trying to uh, be as efficient as I could be with all this stuff. And we'll see if it pays off tomorrow when I open up the crystals that uh, actually give ISO and ideally lots of max sig crystals in there as well for even more ISO. That way, I could also do a mass rank up, mass level up. So, yeah, all that to come this week, and uh, that's it for this one. Thank you all very much for watching. See you tomorrow. Take care.